Hello, Dr. Hugh.
massive typhon appeared shortly after you installed alien neuromods. You're being hunted. satellite project dealing with remote psychotronic signaling. RPSS-X5. I think it could spoof a neural signature that matches yours. Plain English? You could use it to get that new Typhon off your back. Latest tech logs show the satellite was damaged, though. You'd have to find a replacement part.
And Morgan did not share anything else about me. Not even... Only the details of your condition, Miss Ilyushin. And only because they might place the station in danger. Both Alex and Morgan felt you were worth the risk. Oh, Alex knew as well. Alex is well informed on numerous matters. And discloses few of them. Uh-huh. Morgan, hope you don't mind. I was using your workstation. Chief Ilyushin ignored my request to desist 13 times. And no need to tell Morgan about the 14th time, January. I took the liberty of restocking your supplies. Found some food on the way up, left it on the desk. Don't worry, they're alien-proof. I checked them, no twitching. Chief Ilyushin is correct. There are no Typhon Cacoplasmas present. Oh, thank you, January. I haven't been in here since you were lecturing me on my paraplexus. Thought for sure you were going to fire me. Too bad you were sweet on me. I could tell. You've been trapped in the simulation for three weeks. Normally, the tests are only a few days long. ...in the lobby training center later this week. Sounds exciting. Space is limited, so reserve your seat by emailing Dr. Dalton. Vital signs critical.
Alex, I figured it out. Just too late. Graves, are you still in fabrication? The receptor molecules, the exotic neurotransmitters, we didn't synthesize them. And there's no terrestrial source. Graves, don't do anything drastic. You know me. You know I always have a contingency plan. We've been shoving it into our skulls. It all comes from them. But you, you never... I'm going to send someone to help you. I need to get this out now. Oh, God, but the Neuromods, they can still be fabricated. Graves, do not touch the Neuromod licenses. Do you hear me? Running checks. Sim lab secure. Well, except for Igwe, but he'll be up all night. Speaking of up, did you see the photos of his daughter, Maya? But that's not his daughter. It's his wife. Are you kidding me? No, she died. Well, when Igwe was younger, it's in his records. Christ, you've seen his records? Yeah, during the security checks, looking for those red flag sykes that the brass is up in arms about. Apparently, came home, found her dead on the floor. Aneurysm. Spend your life studying the brain. The brain takes its toll. With everything else going on at the time, with the shaming... Christ. He already said that, but I don't think he heard you. He's not looking at this station, that's for sure. I can't find that open airlock. I think there's something following me. It's... I keep hearing it. It's, it doesn't make any sense. It's, it's just in my head. Ay, Mateo. David, I love you both. Mom, I'm sorry. I know you were just trying to protect me. I love you so much. Are you on your way? On my way where? Octavia, didn't you see the alert? We're supposed to muster. Listen, it's really sweet that you're worried about me, but we've had alerts before, and I've got three more of these glorified vacuum cleaners to fix before my shift is over. Oh, make that four. Someone dropped off another. God, these things are junk. I don't think this is a drill, Octavia. I'm sending you the code. Please, come to the escape pods right now. It's Mariana. I can't get in. I tried the airlock at power plant, but it's got some kind of a lockdown on it. And there's something else. I saw something. When I was checking the last O2 station. An ovoid mass. Roughly the size of a truck, maybe? Hard to tell because it was silhouetted. I mean, it could have just been debris... Loose tubing? I, I don't know, but it scared the shit out of me. God, I sound crazy. Oh, just gotta breathe. I'm gonna try another airlock, then I'll call back. Talk to me. We've had enemy contact, but the enemy... They should have held position in the cargo bay. I couldn't, Chief. I couldn't let those people... Can you get to the escape pods? Negative. The escape pods are malfunctioning. It's like they're locked in place. Only four of us made it to life support. Five. I'm picking up Remmer behind you. Negative. Remmer... Remmer isn't Remmer, Chief. These things... Chief, the main lift, it isn't working. We're locked out. Oh my god. Remmer. Remmer's here. Stay away. Teague. Stay away. Teague. Erica. Respond. Can someone please explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Sorry, Dr. Berger. The system shut down. Some kind of fail-safe trigger? We're working on it. That parcel is extremely sensitive. I need it in psychotronics right away. I have a crew investigating the point of failure on our side as we speak. ETA is probably a few hours. A few hours? Isn't there anything else you can do? No. But since you have some time, you could call Mr. Yu and ask him for permission to reboot the entire space station. 
That would fix the problem immediately. That would be ridiculous. Well, since being ridiculous is off the table, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to wait. Maybe I'll check into it myself. I've trained for microgravity. Knock yourself out. Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Hey, Lane. This is Gus, down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh... Did you order any Reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <gasps> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. Hey, uh, Jessica, got a minute? It's my day off. Yeah, but... Can you run me through the container docking procedure again? I, I missed the training session. Ugh, Grant! Please, if I ask Gus again, he'll lose his mind. Are you at the crate docking control station? Yes. First, enter the handling number on the container you want to dock. Um, where do I get the number? Look at the container, Grant. It's stenciled on the outside. Once you enter the number, you should see some options pop up. Select dock. That's it. The container just docks itself, right? Yes, Grant. It docks itself. They are all self-piloting. And I guess open opens the container? Yes. But both ends can never be open at the same time. That way the interior loading zone stays pressurized even when the cargo bay doors are open. Okay. I think I got it. Thanks, Jess. Jess? Hey, you there? Okay, bye. This is Dr. Dayo Igwe. My last words. Oxygen is short. I estimate I only have minutes left. I thought I detected someone passing by, but it may have been my hopes running away with me. First, to those of Earth, my theories were correct. Psionics are possible, and the Talos databanks will prove this out. Second... We are not alone in the universe. I have evacuated Talos in light of what appears to be an alien manifestation. They are demonstrating psychic abilities on a scale... On a scale not even I had imagined. If only... Maya, I wish you could have witnessed this. I met Leitner, you know. His skills. I could have played for you. But taken away, just as you were. And now the others on the station, so many, such a waste. I assume this sarcophagus will drift at the Lagrange point indefinitely. But I cannot be sure without an exact measurement of Talos's mass. What will Earth be like when the ashes of my re-entry drift down to the surface? You've got me really curious. Are you ready for your instructions, my lady? This better not get us into trouble. Not too much trouble, anyway. <clears throat> First, you must journey to the tree where we carved our initials. And what if I bump into Julian Howard? Run like hell. Julian the Ogre does not like people touching his trees. Or his, uh, fruit. <laughs> Probably be a lot less grumpy. Anyway. Beneath a stone, you will find a magical key card. 
This key card will unlock everything your heart desires. Oh, well, I don't need a key for that. But don't worry about work. Michaela said you could take an extra shift since it's your birthday. 